People with disabilities are often relegated to the sidelines when it comes to fashion, frankly, because a disabled body is a body not worth looking at. The whole concept behind our brand is breaking barriers, disrupting fashion rules. I have Parkinson's disease, and I saw her shirts, and they were so fashionable, I bought one. What I thought was what's easy, what's accessible. When I saw the clothing, I thought, wow. And I just took blouses and shirts, and I chose to use Velcro. You start from the bottom or from the top and you go straight down or straight up, it's that easy. I'm a quadriplegic, so I have limited dexterity with my fingers, so undoing a button or fastening things is very difficult. But with Velcro, I can easily just slide my thumb under the button, release the Velcro, and and roll it up. So in the morning, getting ready, it cuts down on the time. I want someone to be a fashionista, man or woman, and have that fashion sense. So it's all about leading with style because style is ageless. The sexiest thing you can wear is confidence, and you can wear that confidence in smart adaptive clothing. The inspiration behind smart adaptive clothing was my father. My father was a professional. He always wore a button down shirt and slacks. After going into assisted living, he broke his hip, his hand, and then the same hip all within 12 months. So the nurses and aides didn't want to take the time to dress my dad in his button downs and slacks. They suggested t-shirts and sweats. It, it was never how he wanted to present himself. He would want to be dignified and confident, and that's when I thought there has to be a better way. I've been wearing Oxford shirts since college. My wife calls me her Italian preppy. It was much harder to find clothes that looked good and also were easy to put on. Sometimes it takes me up to 10 minutes just to put on a shirt. Who wants to spend hours buttoning up and down in Oxford? So it's easy on, easy off, empowering, including, and building confidence. Whether you have Parkinson's, ALS, MS, maybe a spinal cord injury. It's almost limitless, and it's equally helpful for a caregiver dressing someone else. When my father was ill and had diabetes and had neuropathy, I mean, I remember having to button up his shirt. When I saw Nancy's clothes, I thought to myself, I wish I knew about it then. When I heard that there was clothing out there that could be adapted for me to wear professionally, I jumped on the opportunity. It is so valuable and so important to not only be able to dress myself, but to feel confident in the clothes that I wear. To kind of roll into a room with confidence and also to brag about my clothes.